So as we've mentioned before, we've been coming to Thailand for years and we usually head straight for the islands. But this time we've come somewhere a little bit different. We've come to Thailand's original beachside city of Hua Hin. And today is about us exploring and giving you guys our first impressions. Malia and Ina have been going out and doing little scavenger hunts for flowers and things to make art in the house. And Malia really wanted to show me and you guys her favorite bush. So here it is. <laughs> and it's got lots of bees and stuff. Little bees. Now we are going to drive around 25 minutes down the coast. Yeah, we were supposed this? to leave at like 7.30 this morning. It's now like 10. Nine. Nine. So it's getting quite hot. We're going to drive about 25 minutes down the coast show you guys some of Hua Hin's beaches as well as we've seen some really cool restaurants, bars, beach clubs and malls. So today we're going to give you a full comprehensive tour of Hua Hin City. Alright, so the first thing we've noticed as soon as you leave the town you're just in the wild, like in the countryside, surrounded by mountains and forests and things, and it's super cool. The first beach we're going to is about 25 minutes away, but probably five minutes from actually leaving the main town area of Hua Hin, you're just in this beautiful area, and we love exploring like this, just getting on the bike and just going. How cool is this view? Pretty good. We are in the beach resort town of Khao Kalok, which technically is not in the city of Hua Hin, but it's like 25 to 30 minutes down the road. And it's this super quiet, cute little beach town. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, guess what? what? They have a cave here. Should we go with our daddy or should we wait for him? Wait. Okay. <laughs> if he says no, then we're just going to go together. Hey, it wouldn't be Thailand if there was no dog stroking. One of my favorite things about <laughs> the country of Thailand is all the amazing friendly dogs. You don't get it in many other countries where they're this friendly. So we've got three guys just chilling over there. In the shade, in the sand. This is the life I would live if I was a dog. Malia. Can you tell us where you're trying to go? There's nothing there. <laughs> so there's a path up to the top that we want to see if you can get to. And there's that hole. Let's go up. It's a two minute climb up here. For anyone who's watching this, if you come here, please come first thing in the morning so you can actually enjoy the sunrise. I think would be over there. It'd be super peaceful. Uh, right now we've got some people at the bottom. Nobody has come up here yet. It's nice and quiet. I could see myself sitting here first thing in the morning for a couple of hours just enjoying nature. So we found sand in Hua to be darker than the usual. We're now on the beach. The guys are in the water. I had an amazing time up there in the caves. Really, really beautiful. What do you think of this beach and the area? It's pretty cool. Super quiet here. The beach near us, where we're staying in Takiap, it's kind of like this dark sand. But here has the proper like white sand. Like it's the kind. White. It's still quite. I, no, just, the, I just mentioned the, the how. The bit towards the back. The beach in Huaheen is just slightly darker than typical. No, no, no. But the wet, the wet sand is dark. But yeah. the, the back, the sand at the back is like that kind of burn your feet on the white hot sand of kind of thing. But it's really cool with the mountains and this huge stretch of beach and so quiet. Like obviously it's low season, but 
There's a big one coming. Oh no! Oh. Okay, that guy's Jack. Ina's reliving her childhood right now, collecting shells on the beach. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Give me a nail. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah, and this guy too. And look at this. I can't figure out. This is like, if this is a rock or if it's like from the sea. I think it's from the sea. Oh yeah, this is. I can't remember what this is called. So as you've seen, like there's absolutely stunning views. Obviously here is a little bit more flat and kind of residential, but over there, stay tuned because there's cow soy ram. Ah! <laughs> do you know? I practiced that a few times and now I can't believe I'm going to have to do this on camera, get my phone out. Khao Sam Roy Yacht National Park. We are going to be visiting there in one of the upcoming vlogs that you're going to see. So we're really excited to get out and explore more. The good thing about living on the mainland for a little while is we can go to Khao so Oh gosh! The national park that's there. You've got Khao Sok National Park, that's an easy one. Khao Sok National Park is not super far away and you've just got access to everything here. So we're very excited to spend the next sort of five, six weeks in this area. We're very excited. Stay tuned because we've got lots of Thailand videos that you mm -hmm. guys should check out from the past and into the future. It's true and I always keep forgetting to mention this so now I'm actually going to remember it. Please, if you're watching this for the first time, if you've never seen us before and you like the content that we're creating, please subscribe to our channel. Help us grow our community. We'll tell you again at the end but yeah, thanks for watching. This is not the end. And now we're going to go and explore the next bit. Hua Hin a little bit more. Oh my God, what's wrong with my brain? Ah! Talk to me. All right, so we have come across this vibey little cafe which is about five six minutes up the road from the beach that we were just on it's on a road where there's nothing else and you just don't expect to see a place like all the other places are like your typical high like convenience store type places and yeah and then this little vibey place pops up beautiful looking cakes nice coffees which i've now got two of because ina decided to say that she wanted a, an americana before she saw the menu <laughs> So I'm not drinking too coffee. By the way, for anyone who is in Thailand, dirty coffee is it. Have you tried to try it? You haven't tried it yet. Tell me this is the best thing you've ever tried. <laughs> I'll stick to my regular <laughs> cups of coffee, please. <laughs> highly recommend this place. If you guys are passing through this area, I think the area is called Pak Nam Pram. It's very close to the beach that we just went to, five to 10 minutes drive. Really worth a stop. We weren't planning on stopping for long, but we ended up having cakes and brownies and all kinds of things. It's got a nice vibe. We found a couple of beach clubs in town. One of which I would say is a little bit more of like a kind of beach party kind of vibe. So because we're taking Malia there, we found something a little bit more family friendly. So we're gonna show you guys that. And then we are gonna wrap up our day with one of Hua Hin's more traditional evening markets. This is the kind of place where the local people are going to get their dinner and to shop for their groceries and things like that. We're gonna take you guys another time to the big night markets. Tonight we wanted to give you a more authentic feeling of Hua Hin. We're gonna go and sample some local food. couldn't keep driving without stopping here. We found this beautiful little beach called Sai Noi Beach and it's like a very secluded little bay. No resorts or anything, there's one resort. The rest is just all empty. So we thought we'll quickly stop, show you guys the area before we move on. Did you think of the beach? It's actually really nice. Super chilled, laid back. Like you could come here for a couple of hours, just have a few beers. <laughs> sit by the beach it's very peaceful but now we've had a, a lot of sun and we're ready for some food it's about 25 minutes drive now to the next place we're going to a beautiful beach club
welcome to Oceanside Beach Club. Really chilled vibe. We just had a beautiful lunch. Ina ruined the traditional Thai dish and had, what is it, khao soy? Yeah, with prawns. Khao soy, but changed the chicken for it the prawns. It was delicious. And she said it was delicious, but I, you know, I don't know if it's acceptable or not. And I had a really nice masaman. What did you Sorry, have, my dear? Pasta, that was so good. Good. <laughs> Pasta that was oh, so good. <laughs> and the cool thing is down here at Oceanside is you can use the pool and the facilities as well if you come and they, they just ask that you spend 500 Thai baht. All right. 500 baht per person as a consumption. And then you're free to use the, the pool until the evening. We're going to have a little swim now. Have some family time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Right, Adam's in. <laughs> He's gonna try and lift me out of the water and like above his head. Are we ready? <laughs> oh, I nearly got the camera right. Yeah. This is why Adam trains because we make him do this kind of stuff in the swimming pool. Whoa, are we done? <laughs> First and foremost that was really cool, really beautiful to go down to Oceanside. I highly recommend it, amazing food, cool vibes. You can go for lunch there and then chill by the pool afterwards. We well and truly burnt to a crisp now, which is a bit irresponsible, but we, it's, our, it's our first time in the sun for a while. But we were just heading out now. We're about to go and explore a mall and for Malia to have a play. And we've noticed in Hua Hin something very unnerving and strange going on. There's eyes everywhere. Village, one of two main malls here in Hua Hin. dumped our child in a playground now. <laughs> One of the cool things, or we think it's a cool thing, here typically in Thailand is they, the malls usually have a kid's playground, usually on the top floor, and you can literally drop them inside. They're not allowed to come out, obviously, without you, and you just chill on the outside. So you have an excuse not to like crawl through tight spaces and like chase them up a hundred times up a flight of stairs. We put her in here for an hour, She'll go have a blast and we'll sit here, have some coffee time. It's one thing that we really appreciate about Thai malls, for sure. Oh my god, what just happened? I just saw a dinosaur! It looked like they tried to attack a child. Tell us what we're doing now. We're going to see dinosaurs and they're actually moving. Where have we seen them? There. 
Wow. So we're going to check it out? Yeah. Okay. Squish. How big is that guy? Super big. Take me places. Oh, wow. What is that? dinosaur I have ever seen. What kind of dinosaur are you? Yeah. Over there. Oh, that's your mommy. Okay. Let's go find your mommy. Did you know that there was a dinosaur that looked like this? It's basically a rhino. Oh wow, yeah. That guy is huge as well. So there are so many night markets here in Hua Hin. We wanted something a little bit more local and authentic. So apparently this is where people come to get their dinner, do their grocery shopping like for their fresh stuff. And that sounds like our kind of market. So let's go and check it out. What are you having tonight? I have no idea. I've got a really bad earache this evening, so I'm not even feeling that hungry. I love these kinds of markets. Like this. I've just seen a dog in a baby carrier. Let's go. Where's the food? I'm gonna get some corn. Me and Martley are corn. Okay. This one. one. Yeah. Uh, I think one. Uh, it's up to you. <laughs> Did you hear it? it? Sounds like proper crispy. Look at that. Oh. Sorted. I'm a happy <laughs> man now. Fried chicken, pad crop Thank you. Bye. What did you get? Pizza. Really? Yeah. Where? <laughs> There's a lady. Did you get me some pizza? She's got like these little <laughs> mini ovens on the top. Oh, yeah. So she's cooking her I, I pizza. I found some tofu. So. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I want pizza. So I got her did you get one? Pizza. Huh? Oh, this is cool. I think that's been assorted, right? I think that's a wrap for the market, 59 so, baht pizza. We actually decided we're gonna go home and eat. It's actually closing at eight and we just made it. So yeah, come and on there's time. There's not actually anywhere to sit and eat here, so we're gonna... <laughs> so yeah, we live just down the road, let's go. Hi, sorry, I was just watching Christian LeBlanc's video about why, as a new creator, you shouldn't start on the most fancy camera, which is something that we talked about <laughs> this morning. Nice. You should buy like a small, tiny camera, like a GoPro, especially GoPros have creator cameras now as well, or the new Insta360, I can't remember the exact model. So are you saying that we shouldn't be filming on thousands of dollars worth of well it's right a now. conversation that we've had multiple times and we're just looking at mobile phones nowadays i've got the latest iphone i bought it for the quality of camera why can't i use it with a mic and we were just discussing some of our best videos on youtube were shot on this and That's i'm true. running around with malia following her and the amount of times that i get asked in the comments of like oh 
did you shoot this on a GoPro? And I'm like, no. We don't have one. I shot it on a, on a very expensive camera, thank you. It makes me feel... Oh, so really? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm like, wow, okay, maybe we did make a mistake there. Anyway, we had a wonderful day yesterday and we are now at the point of our video where we want to talk about our first impressions of Bahian because we've been here a few days and it's given us the opportunity to explore the area and understand a little bit how Bahian is different to maybe other places in Thailand. So let's do it. First and foremost, accommodation. We were just talking about this. The thing that strikes us about Bahian regarding accommodation that's different to other places is it's the easiest and most abundant form of accommodation for travelers generally is, as we are in right now, is condos. There are lots and lots of different condos, mostly pretty affordable in terms of if we're talking foreign prices. To give you guys an example, we're actually moving out of this one today, but into one that is identical. Um, and two floors below. <laughs> for a monthly rate on a place like this, we're paying for, for five weeks of condo rent. We are paying 21,000 baht, and we will put the uh, conversion just down below, but I think it's around 600 US dollars. Typically, I would say that slightly cheaper than other places we've stayed in the south of Thailand. So when we've been in Samui and some of the islands, you can find really cheap little bungalows in the islands, which will be like very, very basic. But for a slightly nicer accommodation, you're gonna pay a lot of money in you know, places like Koh Samui, Koh Panyang. It's all like very nice villas and things like that. And yeah, we had a really good day yesterday. We went out and explored some beaches for the first time since we've been here. Again, we haven't explored all the beaches because Hua Hien is actually huge and I didn't realize it's that. It's massive. We kind of started off to one side, which is slightly out on the outskirts of Hua Hien. The beach there was really beautiful next to the cave that we explored. When it comes to beaches, I think there's lots to explore it's beautiful yeah I will say actually though getting to the beaches and kind of getting to the different areas it's very accessible however a little bit nerve-wracking on a motorbike especially when we're carrying Malia with us you have to basically go on the main highway which is a very very fast road yeah so, so if you're not confident on a scooter or a motorbike just rent a car it's it can be dangerous on that road that is the main highway but, but yeah do they have grab here <sighs> yeah Okay, so yeah, you can do grab. grab as well. Grab in Thailand is extremely affordable, so that's another way of transportation for you. Food. So food, I can say pretty certainly here is cheaper than anywhere else that we've experienced on the coast in Thailand. To give you a great example, the beach club we went to yesterday, Oceanside, I would say if that was in Koh Samui or one of the other places that we've been, you'd be looking to pay probably upwards of 2,000 baht for the meal that we had. The total cost yesterday for three meals, plus a bottle of sparkling water and a bottle of still water, came to 1,200 baht. And that gave us access to the pool and to chill out there for the entire day if we wanted to. And then the food that we got from the night market last night, we got tons of lots and lots of little things. Came to just over 200 baht, which is coming in at 590 US dollars. $5.90. So yeah, $5.90 for a lot of stuff. Like we didn't manage to finish everything. Then obviously we visited the mall. Malia got to go and play. Uh, it was 200 baht for her to go and play in the playground for an hour, which is again around the same price as the food was actually around $5.90 for, Crazy, for right? that. Yeah. So first, let's do a quick sum up of our first impressions of Hua Hin. First thing that we noticed when we came here is it's very chilled. Like the attitude and the general vibe here is really laid back. Even though it's a city and it's big, very clean yeah. compared to some places that we've been to Thailand. That's not to say that Thailand is not clean. We've just been to a lot of places. And the first thing when we came here, we were like, wow, it's actually super clean. For a city as well. Yeah, I think for a city. It's more just that cities tend to be big polluted you know all that stuff definitely very friendly so, yeah I haven't encountered really anybody that hasn't been at least relatively friendly and yeah we're really excited actually to spend the next five weeks exploring more because there is a lot of temples there's we've got the national park that's really close by I think it's about one and a half hours drive down the road which we're very excited to go and see and you guys are gonna come with us yeah so far so good right I am NOT a city person just gonna put it out there She's a village straight girl. away I'm a very sort of small community nature kind of person so I really enjoyed the beach that we did in the video. Considering it's a city I think it's great because then you can access those small hidden kind of nature based areas. I like it. 
Mm, same. We're starting to realize we may have to make some compromises, especially when it comes to Malia's education and things. So the fact that here we have an international school that is somewhat affordable. I'm really looking forward to spending more time here and you guys are going to spend more time here with us. This is obviously our first few days here, so we're still yet to get out and really get to the nitty gritty of it all. Good job, Hua Hin. If you've been to Hua Hin and you have some recommendations for us of things to film while we're here, please write in the comments down below. Let us know where we have to go while we're in this area. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, please, as always, click the like button. And if you're watching us for the first time and you're not subscribed, or if you're watching us for multiple times and still not subscribed, join our community, help us grow our channel and get our message out there of traveling as a family. And until next time, see you later.